in Hesiod's 700 B.C. Theogony. Uranus is the offspring of Gaia, the earth goddess. But Spartan choral lyric poet Alcman, 600s B.C., and Cyrene Libyan librarian at Alexandria, Egypt, Callimachus, 305 until 240 B.C. Both elaborate that Uranus was fathered by Ether, the god of heavenly light and the upper air. Roman consul Marcus Tullius Cicero, 106 until 43 B.C. In De Natura Deorum, concerning the nature of the gods, claims that Uranus, sky, was the offspring of the ancient gods Ether and Hemera, air and day. But according to the Orphic hymns, Uranus was the son of Nyx, the personification of night. Uranus's brother was Pontus, the original god of the sea. In Hesiod's Theogony, Uranus mates with Gaia, sky with earth, to sire twelve offspring, the Titans, six male, Oceanus, Coeus, Crius, Hyperion, Iapetus, and Cronus, and six female, Thea, Rhea, Themis, Nemosyne, Phoebe, and Tethys. Following birthing them, Gaia became pregnant with three giant cyclops, Brontes, Steropes, and Arges, and three Hecatoncheries, each with one hundred hands, Codus, Briaros, and Gyges. While Uranus hated the titans born him by Gaia, Gaia herself hated Uranus for siring the Cyclops and one-hundred-handed ones on her, these being imprisoned in Tartarus, the womb of Gaia, that is, a cavern within the earth. Therefore, Gaia conspired with the Titans. She shaped a great, flint-bladed sickle and asked her sons to castrate Uranus. Only Cronus, youngest and most ambitious of the Titans, was willing. Cronus, whose name meant time, ambushed his father Uranus, the sky god, and with a chop of the scythe, quickly castrated him and flung his severed membrum into the sea. At this point, Uranus cried out a curse on the Titans, calling them straining gods. A few drops of Uranus's blood fell onto the soil and sprung forth an untold sum of gigantes, giants, Arrhenes, Furies, Melei, Ash Tree Nymphs, and, some say, the nine Telkines, who had flippers instead of hands, and the heads of dogs, and were known as fish children of Rhodes. According to Hesiod, Aphrodite, goddess of beauty, arose from the foam stirred up when Cronus submerged Uranus's castrated manhood into the sea. 
After Uranus was deposed, Cronus re-imprisoned the Hecatonchores and Cyclopes in Tartarus. Uranus and Gaia then prophesied that Cronus, in turn, was destined to be overthrown by his own son, and so the Titan attempted to avoid this fate by devouring his young. Zeus, however, through a deception by his mother Rhea, avoided this fate. The Bronze Age peoples of Anatolia and northern Mesopotamia, known for the kingdom of Mitanni, where Indo-Aryan speakers formed a ruling class over the Hurrians, shared a strikingly similar religious myth to this cosmological origin story from Attic and Greece. In their myth, Anu, the sky god, was castrated by his son, Kumarbis, identified with Sumerian Enlil, and by the Ugaritic with El, who bit off his father's genitals and spat out four gods, Aranza, personification of the river Tigris, Ulakumi, stone giant, Tashmishu, later called Sualiat by the Hittites, and Teshub, bull god of storms, cognate to Babylonian Marduk, who would later slay him.